Hi everyone and welcome back to Artful. In this week's tutorial we're going to be using our watercolour paints to paint a city street. So get out your half pans and let's have a look. The first thing I'm going to do is make a border. Now remember you don't have to work to the size of the paper that you're drawing or painting onto. So I'm making a border out of masking tape. You can remove the tackiness of the tape so it doesn't rip the paper when you remove it. There's nothing worse than when you spend ages on a painting and then you rip a dirty great hole through it. So I'm sketching out my basic design for the street in a very light pencil. This is an example of one point perspective and you'll see that I'm lining up all my details I've made to our vanishing point to the side of my composition. For more perspective tips, I've already got a video covering two point perspectives and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Once I'm happy with my initial pencil sketch, I'm mixing together two light blue paints from my watercolour tin and lightly feathering the paint to make the clouds in the sky. I'm using a flat edge paintbrush to paint my initial base layer of my buildings. For my first building, I'd like my composition to be a bit colourful, so I'm applying a nice deep yellow. Next, I've mixed together some orange and a bit of dark blue to create this nice brick colour paint. Flat edge paintbrushes are very useful for painting buildings, or anything with straight parallel lines. I'm using a darker version of our brick colour to paint the last building on our street, as well as the street floor. Again, using the flat paintbrush to quickly sweep in a consistent flat colour. There's a bit of nature plonked onto the street, so I'm adding a small pool of water to create the top of a tree, then gently letting the green bleed into the water. Next, I've used a smaller paintbrush and some dark blue paint to fill in the details of the shop fronts. I've added some dark green for this colour for the next door front, just so everything doesn't look too uniform, and a bit of ochre for the next shop front. If you've applied your watercolour lightly, your paint should dry relatively quickly. Here you'll see I'm using a smaller brush and a darker version of our base layer to work in our details. There's a nice splash of deep red just for this veranda slash gazebo for this shot front. A nice splash of rich colour to make my composition pop. I find that's an easy way to work in these more fiddly details, just adding a darker tone to your existing base colour. If any of you are following along to this tutorial and painting your own streets, then please let me know, show me your images and tag me on Instagram at artfulbox. I'm using a mixture of some dark greens and blues to paint in the glass of the shop fronts. And then, whilst that paint is still wet, adding a slightly darker version of the same colour to sell the illusion of gradient and shadow. Now I don't like my city or town high streets to be empty, so I'd like to populate the street with some people. Using that light pencil to sketch in a basic outline, these outlines are not too much more complicated than stick men, I'm going to let my paint do the talking for that last little bit of detail. I'm adding some bright colours for their clothes and some flesh tones for their heads. And just as a final bit of detail, just a bit of artistic housekeeping, I'm adding a bit of shadow underneath my characters. Then I can use my light pencil to gently work back into my characters. And now, moment of truth. Will my masking tape rip my paper? Carefully does it, like you're removing a plaster. With any luck, because I removed the tackiness of the tape earlier, it should have just acted as a border and not ripped up my work. Look at that, no rips or tears. Just a nice, crisp border. Very satisfying. A sharp border like that is just an easy way for your artwork to look quite smart. And there's my watercolour city street scene, pretty much finished. This took me an hour to complete in total, and that's factoring in the drying time as well. Please let me know how you got on painting your own streets by commenting on our YouTube video. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to see some other ones. And if you're new to Artful, why not visit artful.co.uk? Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again soon with a new video.